Across the world, devoted women and men grow a range of food crops to feed their families and people living in urban centers. The diversity of crops and varieties observed in farmers' fields reflects their needs, opportunities and strategies to produce food and to earn a living. Just like all farmers, we're curious when our neighbors grow a new variety. Before adding a new variety to our existing range of varieties, we want to explore what traits are of interest, what the market wants, and how the new variety grows under our conditions. When a new variety is introduced and others in the community can see it, the resulting demand for seed can create opportunities for seed entrepreneurs. Before I sold seed at 20 to 30,000 shillings, but now I sell at 45 to 50,000 shillings per bag. In fact, all the varieties I have are good, but I advise my fellow farmers to plant wahi and hakika because it helps us farmers to reduce straga weeds. The new varieties mature faster and yield more than local varieties. The local varieties take very long to mature, more than five months, and the yield is low. And my neighbors, when they come to buy seed, they see the importance of early maturity and escaping hunger, which they had with the local varieties. Let's see how farmers in Nkungi village in central Tanzania tested new varieties within their farmer field school. Their main worry was to find sorghum varieties that suffered less from the parasitic weed Striga. During the first year they compared seven new varieties against their local variety in a plot that had lots of Striga plants the year before. Towards the end of the season they compared all varieties in pairs, one against the other, always noting down which of the two they preferred. Testing the varieties in one experimental plot had given the members a good idea of which varieties they wanted to test on their own farm during the next season. It is important to test new varieties to solve the problem of Striga, to identify which variety grows best in your field and which one gives more yield and matures faster. Maria Emanuel decided to further experiment with three new varieties on her own farm. I divided the plots into two equal halves. In one half I applied manure to all varieties and in the other half I did not apply manure. I also made sure to plant all varieties at the same time in both halves with and without manure. By sharing experiences from the trials on their own fields and in the fields of their fellow farmers, all learned quickly about the behavior and traits of the new varieties. The third year, members expanded the area of their preferred varieties and repeated their observations. As their knowledge and confidence grew, some of the Nkungi group members came up with clever ways to promote the new striga resistant varieties. I convinced my fellow farmers by labeling each variety to show the difference, so they can see which one is good and which one matures faster, so they can understand. To promote the new variety, I carry one panicle, so when I go to the market to sell my seed, I put it beside me and tell them here it is, so that it can help them understand that it's a good variety. Using Striga resistant varieties is only one option to win the battle against Striga. By working in groups, you can learn about new varieties and other Striga control options faster and better. In this way, 
joint efforts lead to a better harvest for all.